Hey everybody, Quilting Marine here. So, when we last left off, we had just put together my pimped out pinwheel or my disappearing pinwheel, okay? Um, so, what we want to do is we're going to put it together, all right? So, don't let anybody tell you what order to go in and put it together. Go in the order that you feel comfortable with, okay? There's a lot of cuts in here and there's a lot of attaching you have to do, okay? So, don't get wrapped around the wheel on which way you're going to go, uh, what is going to be attached first, just do it, okay? It's only fabric, it's only thread. Don't let it intimidate you, all right? Because when I first did it, I thought I was going to throw myself out the window because I didn't know which way to go. But there is no right, there is no wrong way to go. It's on you, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here, okay? I'm going to take this middle piece. Remember, right side's facing, right? I'm going to put the middle piece together. I'm just going to put it, attach it, all right? Quarter inch seam allowance, all right? So I figured out what was going on with my machine. So my tension was way off. And then, you know, this machine has, man, I love this machine. This machine is so amazing. Okay. So look, we put that piece together. So we're going to iron it. We're going to iron. We're going to put the iron to it, put some heat to it. All right. Iron to the dark side. Remember? All right. So in order to keep myself sane and to know which way I'm going, I'll always come back and make sure I have the right pieces together. Look at that. Okay? So what? you know which way I'm going. I'm going this way. So this one's next. Fold it right on over. Okay? And we're going to sew down the seam here. We're going to put a seam down. Quarter inch. All right? So that's my quarter inch seam allowance right there. And I'm just lining up the edge of my fabric with my quarter inch seam. Okay? All right? Here we go. Here. And away we go here. Let's, let's make sure we line up there. Let's cut that here. Back to the iron. Iron into the dark side. All right, so that's the bottom portion done. Just lay that across, right? What's and 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 it just goes in that pattern because I I started going this way. You're not gonna go that way, right? You're just gonna go straight across, all right? I'm gonna put this across here from the middle piece, all right? Don't don't mix yourself up, all right? Sometimes when you pick them up, if you if you don't know where you were, go back, okay? Go back and lay it back down, so you can know where you are. All right, there we go. Just like that, right side's facing. Quarter inch, all right, get my corner straight here. All right. Let me do a quarter inch here. I'm gonna iron that too, all of them, okay? All right, so you can press the seam here. Pressing the seam is hitting it on, on the side that you just stitched, okay? I got that from Missouri Star, okay? She does that all the time, so I was like, if she's doing it, I'm gonna do it, all right? And then I'll iron it open, all right? So sewing, uh, you know, pressing to the dark side on this, you're not gonna be able to do because look at that, you know, you got your little mini, you got your mini pinwheel in the middle, so that's not gonna happen, okay? I'm gonna come back. I keep it simple, all right? I'm a jar head. We keep it potato head, all right? Just like that. Look at that. And then I'm just going to flip that over, okay? Here we go. Quarter inch. All right, so once we do this, this pinwheel, once we do this, 
um, disappearing pinwheel, you're going to have to start flying, okay? Because we're going to put this thing together. So I've been getting some, oops, I've been getting some requests on doing some, some quilts, all right? And my patchwork quilt is, it's a barn burner, okay? We're going to get that one. We're going to do that one. And don't forget, we still have to do, we still got to do the um, daisy cutter, all right? My wife's like, get to the daisy cutter, and we're going to do the daisy cutter, okay? All right, so let's make sure we got this straight here. Look at that. That's golden right there, right? So we're going to go this way. right sides facing so yeah this has a lot of yeah there's a lot of work to this one a lot so what we'll be doing out of you know for the size bed that I'm working on I'm gonna be doing about 30 of these so I'm gonna be giving you a head start don't let me catch up but don't rush, okay? Take your time. You see how I write on I write on my um self-healing mat, slow down, measure, measure, okay? Cause I'll drift. I get my I get mine mind blown all the time when I'm quilting. Sometimes I'll just be like, what? What am I doing? I'll zone out and then I'll come right back and I'll try to catch up. But all right, don't trip yourself up. Don't overthink it, okay? It's simple. All right, if you run into a, if you run into a situation, let me know. Send me an email. We're good. We're family by now, all right? Okay. So look at that. So we have we've we've Gone down to three pieces. So now we're gonna put our three pieces together, right? Look at that. Okay. All right, look at that. It's getting close. It's getting close. So I'm gonna fold the center over right here. Now, this is where we're gonna need to start doing some, you guessed it. We're gonna start nesting here, all right? We're gonna nest. So I need, oh, that's a nice fit right there. And right there, it's not bad. I'm starting to see improvement in my work a little bit here. Okay, so I'm gonna put a pin in here, okay? Because I'm not that confident in what I do that yet, okay? So I'm gonna pin right here. I'm gonna throw one more in. One more pin. But you could pin as much as you want, okay? Don't, all right, I, I think I've, I've graduated to where I can use maybe just two pins, I think. But <laughs> there was a time when this whole thing would be just uh, nothing but an attraction to a magnet. It would be a whole row of pins, a highway of pins. If you dropped a, a magnet near me, this thing was going to fly off the table, okay? Here we go. Quarter inch. Keep it slow, okay? Even though I do have a nice machine where I can go fast, I'm gonna keep it slow, okay? That was, that was pretty good, okay. Yes, look at that. Okay, so I try to put these little, um, I don't know what you call them, but these little hashes or whatever, I'll try to keep them down, okay? As I drive over them. Quarter inch. I'm just going down the line here. Let's cut that and pull our pins out. We're gonna keep them close because we're gonna be using them again for the other half, okay? This thing's coming together. What is that? What is that? The 18. What is that guy's name? The captain of the 18? I love it when a good plan comes together. All right. Just like that, right side's facing, right? We're gonna nest. Okay, so look at that, see how crazy that looks? It's like, 
See how far apart that is? So we want to nest that. We want to make sure that line is matching. Okay. Get that in there. Let's pin that. Okay, let's see what the other one is doing over here. Let's see what we got. Let's nest this one too. Remember what nesting is, right? We're matching up these lines right here. This line and this line, okay? And yes, I know you can see the white white thread in there because I want you to see where my stitch lines are. The rest of them I'm gonna be doing with black, okay? But I just want you to see where my lines are, okay? All right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna stitch this thing closed and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a quick review on a gadget that I got, okay? I picked up and my wife didn't know about it until I showed her how good they worked, okay? Here we go, let's close this thing up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull, pull our pins out and put them back in, in my ball pin cushion, because they have a habit of finding their way into the bottom of my foot all the time. And we're gonna press the seam here. Sorry, I had it on dry. I was doing some stuff for the, I was doing some stuff for the um, daisy cutter. All right, now let's press it open here. All right, everybody, this is it, okay? This is the final final product of our disappearing pinwheel, okay? Or my pimped out pinwheel, okay? This is it. All right, so start stacking them, all right? Because what we're going to do, once I get enough of them, we're going to start putting them together, all right? And building our our cool top okay that's 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 two of them done but you got to see me put this one together all right so we've been thinking about a border and I'm not sure if we're gonna do the border I think we might have to do the border okay but I'm not sure so get to work on your get to work on your um your Disappearing pinwheel or pimped out pinwheel and try not to let me catch you. Okay, I'm gonna start knocking these things down so that we can move forward and, and get this quilt top done and then we're gonna move on to or we may work on uh, The daisy cutter uh, Quilt okay, because the daisy cutter is in high demand and that's a sweatshirt quilt So get your sweatshirts ready. Okay, because I'm gonna show you how to how I cut apart a sweatshirt to use the most out of the sweatshirt All right, so when we come back I'm going to take apart a sweatshirt and we'll start working on our daisy cutter uh, quilt, okay? Re remember, it's only fabric, it's only thread, and thank you for watching my video.